Welcome back guys to another Switcher TV video. Today I'm out here all by myself. It's it, I think it's like 6 30 a.m. about 7. We're just uh, kind of on the base of the mountain about to get up to our login spot. We will not be uh, we will not be going straight up the the mountain like we did yesterday with our tiger cat and our John Deere skitter but we're gonna be heading up here in our freight liner wait that's not the term we're gonna be taking the road so i brought the uh the logging trailer with me of course the timber runner and it's it's a big trailer now i'm i've been kind of debating on how we should do this because i've tipped before going down roads that are nothing compared to this and i'm a little worried obviously we're never gonna have to drive up these roads with a load we're only gonna be coming down so what I was thinking is is we should be fine. It's going to be the turns. And then also, I might get some more guys up here to... Like, we, we made the path really, really good. But it's still tough, of course, for, like, to truck down it and for, like, wide turns. So when we hit the snow with a pile of logs, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. So we'll see. But, yeah, it, it's tough to not hit the snow. And the snow kind of hurts. Ooh, also... All right, I think I might have just made it better. I turned snow tracks on. So what that means is instead of the snow being so rough, it now should, yes, once I run this over, it should give a little, making it not as rough. But obviously, as you can see here, let me zoom out. We aren't going to make this uh, turn there. And that's why I'm a bit worried about tipping. So maybe what I'll do is have the, uh, have the guys, a few of our crewmen, Probably only tomorrow we'll be able to get them to do it, but have them come down and clear it. So if you guys w enjoy these logging episodes, please hit the like button. Of course, we will be, uh, I think Chow wants to uh, post the video here on the channel. Yeah, see, I can't, how am I supposed to make that turn? It's too tough. There we go. Come on. There we are. So yeah, I think Chow said he wants to be posting some videos here soon. He said he has some pretty good content coming out with a, uh, with a re few reposts he's done. But he said business has been slow. It's calmed down since winter time, so I don't know um, what that means, but yeah, it's been slow for him. For those who have been wondering where Chow's at, there we go, boys. We just made it in uh, into our site here, so we're going to be doing probably a lot of logging. Oh, we already have a pile made. Just kidding. That was already there. It's not our logs, but let's see. I'll kind of be a little bit of exploring around here, but we're starting off here, and I think what I'll do, honestly, is... Okay, so the tiger cat and the deer are not here yet, but I think what I'll do is on these flat parts, use the tiger cat, the processor, and then once it gets like kind of hilly, kind of places that I'm not too comfortable with, we will we will skip over to the skitters and do a lot of uh, chainsaw work and stuff. So we're gonna clear all this out here, guys, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned, let's get her done. All right, so I brought the tiger cat and the deer over. So it's actually kind of cool, we have well, technically, the 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 deer isn't a processor, but we have two feller bunchers, one tiger cat, one deer, and then you know two uh, similar processors. That, well, technically, the John Deere could be a processor if we wanted it to be, but kind of cool. We have two two like similar units that are just different brands and stuff. So I'm gonna try and get up over here on the snow. Now the problem is kind of like how we plowed. Honestly, I don't know if the processor is going to be the best in the snow. So we're, I'm going to try it out. Like, obviously, it has tracks, but it's just so heavy. I'm sure in real life it would be really, really good in the snow. But I don't know how it's going to be here in FS. So there we go. We're trudging, trudging through the snow. And it's going to be kind of tough, too, in terms of getting the truck over here so we can load it up. So I'm going to try and see if I can knock out this section here. And I might almost, uh, I might do chainsaw work and then just do the, um, just run the tiger cat. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes because one thing, okay, they're all pretty much similar height. There's a few, it looks like there's only two variations in height you have. Okay. There's a few little ones over there, but you have the very large ones. Then you have ones that are, you know, not as long. So what I want to do is see. I don't know. I might change play. You know, I don't even want to run the tech cat. I want to do run chainsaw and then we'll, we'll run the uh, the feller bunchers because that would be for the skitters. Sorry, we'll run the skitters. I don't know. That'll just be. See, look, he already got stuck. Now this is we plowed onto that, but it's already stuck. All right, so change of plans. Let's get fired up. This is. Uh, I'm, I'm just too. I can't let it sit over here and not have it running. So we're gonna use this. 
and uh yeah let, let's let's get after it here i do need a bit of practice with the crane i was messing around with it as i was driving and it seemed once i had okay that's not too bad but i just had a few i just gotta you just gotta get used to it that's pretty much where i'm at right now now it only extend oh there it goes but that arm okay it's just kind of weird well first i'm gonna do i'll pretty much run chainsaws the whole entire time okay there's a pretty small one right there but we'll just start chainsawing like everything going from there let me start all the way down here and i'll work my way down so i know what i'm getting into and then i still don't have a stump grinder up here too there we go boys we're letting her eat I didn't get the steel chainsaw. I already know what kind of chainsaw I have. All right, switched it. I got the steel. I didn't know what kind of chainsaw I had, but I'm switching it. And I got to make sure I get this tree because it's going to be blocking uh, the road. Now, another thing I was thinking about is we always could, um, we could use the train. You see the train going by ever so often or like pretty frequently actually. And right by us here, there is, the train is right here. So yeah there's a crane so technically we could like use that crane and then um like run it from there but we'll see i might of course i want to truck down these old logging roads that's so cool but i'm gonna run a quick time lapse here guys and we'll get all these cut down All right, guys, so now it's time. I cut down about most of what I was wanting to get done. I have a few more that I want to cut down, but right now I want to make sure everything is running good. So I've, I've never used this besides driving it up here. So be patient with me. It will get, I'm taking used to, and it already looks like the crane system is kind of touchy, I would say, but I'll get the hang of it. So let's back up here. I wish, the only thing I wish is, I wish I could extend it a bit. All right, let's close the teeth. Hopefully this is able to hold. These are three large and in-charge trees. Holy cow. All right, lift them up. One thing you don't want to do is squeeze too hard. Then like the game like glitches out. All right, there we go. I think that's, they're coming with. Nice, there we go. All right, so I feel like once they get in this claw, oh my goodness, they're, okay. I had no idea they would actually stay in here like this. I'm a little worried they are shaking a bit i'm worried about the snow but the tiger cat pulls it with ease these are big trees guys this is no joke like huge huge trees i'm trying to think where's gonna be the best place for me to put them oh are they slipping out okay this is isn't bad all right what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pull them all this way get them fully out all right then oh i could have squeezed even more there we go drop them nice all right so technically i mean i could just back over them here there we go there we can squeeze them tighter by like running over it and then the tracks will get them so let's just back right up here this is working pretty good it's not it's not too bad and it's actually better than i thought so let's get these over here all right so i got another group of three that fell nice there we go yeah, the crane the only thing it does kind of have a mind of its own it's, it's just huge so i bet i could really take like more than three at once but here we go let's go back in for it wing out it's yeah it's just kind of tough scooping them but it honestly the way it like stayed together way better than i ever thought it would and that's what i was like most worried about them like actually gripping together yeah, see right there they're nice and slow there we go can i raise up there we are all right sometimes i do forget the controls too so sometimes i'm kind of hesitant to like clamp more but next time i should probably get a bit closer all right there we go yeah see what i'm most surprised about is right now i thought it would just slide out of the crane but it seems like it's working pretty good even look we had a huge snow bank there it's still like holding on all right let's see if we can swing it There we go. Lay them right next to each other. Honestly, can I? All right. I don't think it rotates left to right, but that's uh, no worries. There we go. Loosen the crane. 
All right, so there we go. We got it. Six big, big trees. Those are not, those are not small trees at all. Now there are a few like smaller trees in there, but we've already made a pretty big dent. It is a bit slow going, but with the snow, like honestly, this is way faster than I thought because the snow is just so, so tough. But there we go. That's why we got chains in a track. Just go right over those huge snow piles that we made. All right, so I'm gonna try and start attacking these here. Now the only trouble is like getting them all aligned and stuff, like getting them all in groups. So that takes a little bit of work, but in the end, it's kind of worth it to knock them all out. But I was thinking, you know, maybe just grab one, drive out, and then grab another. So I don't have to like go so slow. And then maybe grabbing one is almost easier. And then I can just drive over there. But see, there we go. We got our clamp down. That's the super nice thing. It doesn't slide out. There we go. Then we'll just drive right over here and release her, then turn around. So. The, uh, this guy's a beast. The skitter's a beast. I wonder, I wonder if the John Deere could do this too. Like, these are pretty big trees. Obviously, like, the Tiger Cat is huge. I don't know if it would actually, like, affect the John Deere, though. And then plus the snow. The John Deere is not as good in the snow as the Tiger Cat. I was just driving it back up here, and it is not even close. All right, so let's get a few here. There's some bigger trees. What, we got one, two, three, four, five, six right there. They're all big. Or wait, one might be... Three are, or maybe just two are really big. And then we have some smaller ones. There we go. Drop her down. And then the controls are this. If you guys ever play with this mod, the controls are kind of weird. But it works out good. It still works. It just, you got to get used to it. Like, it's left, it's just weird. Especially when you're on a mouse. It's, it's totally different. I really wanted to maybe do like a steering wheel and stuff in the future. But too many times, it's just... It's nicer to have a mouse in some uh, circumstances. All right, so before I get too many trees, what I want to do now is go ahead, bring the trailer over, and then line it up, make some cuts on those, and then we can load them up with the deer. That's probably the best. So we'll bring it over. I don't know if I'll keep them in one big piece. I got to pretty much, I got to measure the logs by driving the trailer next to it. I don't know if that's like the, the smart way to do it or like the fastest. And this whole method isn't that fast, but I'm also like by myself. So if you think about it, I feel like we're doing pretty good. There we go. Swing out. And they'll all get lined up here. There's probably, okay, yeah. We're going to need to cut them. I'll probably cut them in half. I'm thinking that way because the other time I had some scrap pieces, so I was kind of losing money there. But I'll just cut them in half right down the middle. There we go. Perfect. All right, so pull out the old chainsaw. Let's get to get to work. I'll try and just eye it up, cut it down the middle, and then it doesn't need to be perfect. But I guess it can't be longer than the trailer, so I guess it kind of need to be somewhat even. Just gonna. And eyeball it but it won't be too hard there we go pick that one but again guys if you're enjoying today's episode please hit the like button and then for those who were wondering we're on the fenton forest map so logging company has always been on it um i guess for those who haven't been here since episode one that's the move and then i think the snow is officially gonna stay it for the next two weeks at least it's gonna be here and honestly it looks like it's gonna snow again um, but there are a few sunny days, but it's still like it's like 10 degrees. There we go. All right, so we've loaded up quite a bit so far, and now I'm just kind of getting... I got the bigger ones. Those seem to actually load up quite a bit easier. Then now I'm going to try and go with the smaller guys here. They're just thinner, and then that makes it a lot harder. So I'm going to go ahead and try and load these guys up. There we go, squeeze it. See, when they were thicker, it was just easier to hold on to them, but it's not too bad, so... We'll load these up, but yeah, the trailer works pretty good. I think I cut <laughs> just about everyone uh, perfectly. Not fair. Okay, not perfectly, but everything should fit just fine. And there we go. This is this is my toughest part for sure. Getting the hang of that. No, 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 no. All right. Yeah, this is this is the tough part. Wait, what am I doing? Come on, release, release. There we go. Nope. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to destroy anything. I've had some pretty bad encounters off camera. There we go. Now let's see if we can just push her forward. Come on, nice and easy. Then there we, yeah, that, okay, that one's too long. That one's way too long. Did I cut that? Okay, that one is so long. I guess they're all, wait, they're all pretty long. This actually might not work out the best. 
Okay, so I... Mm -hmm. I could have cut the other ones a bit uh, longer. But the problem is right now, we just have ones hanging off the back. Yeah, we're going to have to clean this up. <laughs> if anybody... Uh, if like a cop sees us, that is so illegal. There we go. So we have a few scrap ones, but it's not too bad. Yeah, let me just see if I can clean up these. No, not that one. There we go. We're going to just kind of clean up these. It's it's pretty tough. There we are. Sometimes. All right, looks good. So let's get on to these here. Ooh, if I could get... If I can get all of them... Oh, let's try it. Let's... Okay, the only one we need to adjust. All right, I'm going to try it. Let's squeeze it. Come on. Squeeze it. Come on. Come together, boys. Maybe if I backdrop... Oh, there we go. There's no way. There's no... They're going to go glitching. Oh, wait. I guess it is an FDR mod. So you always... I can't underestimate it. All right, we missed one. That's fine. That is plenty. All right. The claws work so good. All right, let's raise her up. I need to kind of swing it there so it's level. All right, zoom out. That's probably the best. So make sure everything's lined up perfectly. All right, why, why is it... They're glitching more and more. I better get them down before it's too late. Come on. What is it? Why is it? I'm not touching anything. And they're shaking. I'm getting scared, boys. Put them down. Put them down. Release them. There we go. Nice and easy. Just shake on out. All right, so we got them all loaded up. And then two ended up flying out. But there we go. Now, what I'm going to do... I'm just going to take this because, like I said, I need to... This is Halanti. I feel it on the trailer you just saw it like shake back and forth so i'm gonna take this down now and i kind of want to i don't know why i have my hazards on but you know safety here i'll just flick them off all right there we go we're moving it's not an oversized load by any means but we all right we need to get it down there and i'm, I'm like i said i'm so worried about tipping once you stack them higher and higher like i could add like a few more and and just those more do way more damage than the ones who are underneath like she's already tipping Need to be careful. And I didn't cut that one off down there. We have some more mud too. It is melting. Like I said, it's sunny. And it's making the road a bit sloshier. Or like, just a bit rougher in general. Alright, here it is. Break, 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 break. See right there, we were sliding. What do I do? This is where I was so worried about it tipping. No, 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 no. Alright, we're good. Kind of actually slid down in our favor. There we go. We're moving now. Around that turn, that's when it really starts to go downhill. And then it's and then it like flattens out and it's not really tough turning. So that is probably the, the checkpoint where we either make it or we don't. And if we don't, then like there's no yeah, pretty much. If you make it past there, you're good. There we are. Then it's super nice. So the, the sawmill is right below our, our base. So once you get down from the mountains, you don't need to drive much more. So really that is nice. Uh but we should really widen this path. With the snow, it's just it's just tough in the snow. There we go. We are flossing down here. And then there's the sawmill. Like I said, it's right there. Now they didn't plow. There we go. So we we punched through the snow bank. Then we made her in. I don't know where exactly the cell point is at. Alright, I think it might be. Right, I'm gonna have to find it here real quick. I think it might be this. Either that, okay, this is, I'm, I'm nervous. Either it's this corner, oh my goodness, or, so we have to figure out, I, or I have to figure out exactly where to sell it. What I'm going to do is, I think it's, by the looks of that construction tape, I think it's right in front of here. Let's back up, get in position, and then they'll go ahead and sell it for us. I'm really curious to see what we get. Right now, we got $19,000 go after uh, paying for the land. That was tough. There we go, 19,000 plus. Okay, so we just made 30K. So I made 30K pretty quickly. Now that wasn't a big load. An oversized full load, usually, I think it got us about 80K was our max load. So, I mean, we weren't even half full. But there we go, guys. We made some money today. I need to get our crew members back, and we need to really get to work. Now, what I really want to do is live streams on here. So let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in live streams, if you guys would like that. Because personally, like, login takes a long time. And I don't know, I feel like it'll be a really good uh, live streaming kind of bit. So let me know what you guys think. Peace out, and I'll see you all in the next one.